Hi guys, I'm coming to you again with the Thank God is First Friday YouTube video. This video um, is about how are you guys spending your Friday night. Today is December 19, 2014. I hope you guys are enjoying this day and having a wonderful blessed day. My son is back there sleeping. Um, today we did some housework at home. Then I took him to the park um, where he met a little girl um, named uh, Ellie. She is three years old. So they played, um, had a really good time. Then after that, we went to the grocery store because I had to pick up some stuff for um, dinner. And of course, you guys see the mail right there. I picked the mail up as well. So for um, our evening tonight, we are going to be making tacos mm -mm -mm, and a side of refried beans. And for our dessert, we're going to have apple pie. Um, I don't really care for apple pie, but they didn't have the small peach pie. So I had to get apple pie. So we're going to have that. Um, and then I'm probably going to finish doing the laundry because I started that and I have to dry the clothes and all that. Um, then after that, we're probably just going to find a movie. Oh, it's bath time for Nehemiah tonight. So we're going to probably find a movie to watch and we're just going to relax and enjoy one another. Um, I enjoy the place that I'm at currently. Um, I'm at a place where I can relax and just chill and spend time with Nehemiah and just not worry and stress. I'm trying to practice that, not worrying and not stressing. Um, it's very important. Um, so with not doing events and speaking engagements, I just have some downtime right now. So um, something that I did want to share with you guys, for those out there who would like to know or question themselves or often ask, like, what is God's will for my life? Um, some people often wonder, like, what's my calling? You know, um, how do I know what I'm supposed to be doing? And something that I came across when I was um, studying the word last night, um, I came across Colossians 1 9. And this is something that I am currently meditating on and that I'm, you know, going to constantly be praying about and being mindful of. Because um, we all should be mindful that God has a will, a divine will for our lives, not just what we think we should be doing, but. Um, what God says that we should be doing. So for those out there who, who want to know or who wonder, um, this is something that I believe that, um, my battery is dying. It's always dying. Um, this is something that I believe that can help you guys as well as myself. So, um, Colossians 1, 9, let me see, cause I have my Bible in the car with me so I can share with you guys. Okay, it says, For this cause we also, since the day we heard it, do not cease to pray for you and to desire that ye might be filled with the knowledge of his will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding. So um, a breakdown of that is basically... Um, don't stop praying. Uh, we always, we should, we should never stop praying actually. Um, pray without ceasing. So don't stop praying, um, for yourself and desire that you will be filled with the knowledge of God's will for your life. Well, of God's will so that you'll be filled with the knowledge of God's will in all wisdom and all spiritual understanding so if you meditate on this if you pray this if you speak to God about this I believe he will answer you um, so if you want to desire to be filled with the knowledge of his will in all wisdom and understanding so it's like you know you're going to completely know you know you're going to get the wisdom and the spiritual understanding um, you're going to know um, all parts to your um, God's will for your life. So that's something that I wanted to share with you guys for those out there that might be questioning um, and asking themselves because I've also, I've often heard that, you know, and it always seems easy like, oh, they, you know, they're good at this or they're great at that or they're good at serving in the church or serving one another or they can, you know, speak wisdom on any topic or they, you know, speak in tongues or they lay hands or whatever it might be. Um, if you go to God and you desire to know his will for your life and you practice it, you know, don't step outside of his will. You know, even if you don't hear from him, take some time and wait till you hear from him, you know, and just be patient and trust. And sometimes we won't hear from him because it's faith that's, you know, that that he wants to grow within us so that we trust him, you know. 
so that's something i wanted to give you guys on this evening um comment down below and let me know what your plans are for this friday night um we don't have any plans for the weekend of course um because nothing's promised but um we just don't and then sunday i believe i'm going to take my son to the library for story time um he enjoys story time we've been going since we've been here um and I enjoyed too. I never knew the library was so cool. So guys, if you have a local library in your city, check it out. You know, it's great for the kids. Um, I don't know how everybody's library is, but I just didn't know that they were so cool. You know, you can rent books, you can rent movies. They have story time. They have puppet shows. Nehemiah went to the puppet show last Sunday. They have arts and crafts. Um, they have so many cool things that you can be a part of and allow your kid to socially and um, physically interact with other kids because it's important that we do all that we can to stimulate their minds and um, to help them grow. So, you know, Nehemiah's the only child and he has one cousin out here and the rest of his family is back home. But just period, being the only child, it's important that we try and get them involved as much as possible in activities. You know, even those that don't cost, you know, free activities like the park or anything like that, you know, um, so that we can help them and stimulate their mind, you know, because we don't want them to be those kids that don't like to share, don't like to talk to other kids, um, don't know what it is to talk to other kids. So it's important as parents, single mothers, single fathers out there, it's important that you do all that you can and look into activities for your children. So um, that's that. And he's just back there snoring and all. Um so yeah i hope you guys are enjoying this evening um you guys continue to keep persevering continue to keep putting your faith and your trust in the lord not in man because they will fail you every time know that god has a perfect divine will and um plan for your life you know desire to seek it desire to know what it is you know um his way is better than our way that's the truth so um Oh, and I am in the parking lot. Um, they did provide two solutions for parking for me. So that's a good thing. Um, they gave me a garage for free. But of course, I have to get in there and pull it down with my son. And, you know, if we have groceries, so it might be a little bit complicated. But if there's no parks like last time, like last Friday, then I will be in that parking garage then they also gave me a stall but that's not free till the end of the month so um that's like but that's not close to me but it is a little close so either way i'll just continue to park in the uncovered spaces um until um because they're redoing the all the parking stalls because it's basically like a layout air you know there's more um, apartment units than um stall so it just backs up it's just backed up period so what can I do, right? Um, at least they provided two solutions. So that's that. But um, yeah, and I haven't been able to do a Motivational Monday video because um, it's kind of easier to get out and do these Thank God is First Friday videos because sometimes we're always out and about on Fridays. So it's easy, especially when he's sleep, to just pull my phone out and to, you know, speak to you guys. Whereas my Motivational Monday videos at home when I set up and everything, he starts like, wanting me and crying and wanting to take a nap and things like that but sometimes you don't take a nap on certain times monday it's just it's just weird it's like he knows i'm trying to do a motivational monday video so if i can at least share you know something on fridays with you guys i'm just going to continue to keep on doing that um by any means so um to all my real life go get us out there stay positive um don't allow your limitations or circumstances you know to get in the way of your determination to succeed visit www.gogetter.com and share your go get a story or purchase your apparel um stay connected with me and interact with me um thank you i cannot remember his name but he commented on my last video which was very thoughtful and nice because hey i got one comment um so shout out to him he knows who he is and um what else um yeah don't forget to let me and my boo boo know what you guys are doing this friday what are your plans we would love to hear about it because of course it's just me and him and I talk to family and sometimes friends here and there, but not as much. So if you guys interact with me, that would be really cool, don't you think? So, um, okay, guys, till next time. Mwah.